Here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we topped out in the 50s earlier in the daytime today. Now, tomorrow, we could be making a run at some record warmth here in southern New England. Let's take a look back at the sunset for today. Our first uh, sunset, daylight savings time, the sunset time, an hour and one minute later than it was yesterday. Sunset at 648, barely a cloud in the sky. And that's the way it remains, fairly quiet. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar is nice and quiet. No rain or snow out there. Temperatures topped out at 54 in Providence, 55 in Smithfield, 52 in Taunton, New Bedford at 50. A little bit cooler along the South Shore, upper 40s to around 50 degrees. But it was a pretty nice day everywhere. And temperatures have since cooled into the upper 30s to lower 40s. And we're likely not going to be seeing the temperatures fall too much further throughout the uh, rest of the night with a gentle wind out of the Southwest. Live City Camp picture is nice and quiet, 41 degrees with that wind from the Southwest, 7 miles an hour. Relative humidity is relatively high, about 70%. Satellite radar picture is showing really quiet conditions across all of New England. We have high pressure firmly in control, but there is some uh, clouds off to our west. Those clouds will be working their way into our region uh, late in the day tomorrow, mainly just some high clouds, and that's really about it. So we've got high pressure in control. It'll kind of hang off shore over the next 24 hours, allowing the southwesterly winds to bring in the warmer air into our region tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow maybe mid to upper 60s. Yeah, it's going to be one of those bonus days here in southern New England. Clouds arrive tomorrow night, and we could be looking at some rain showers uh, Tuesday morning, maybe into Tuesday afternoon as well. We're now looking at a constant rain, just a few showers around. Overnight tonight, mainly clear temperatures will be falling down into the upper 30s at the, at the lowest, and then actually rise a little bit towards sunrise. Your morning commute, we're looking at sunny and cool conditions, 38 up to 48 degrees. So a quick warm-up tomorrow morning in the afternoon. Look at this. 65 downtown east side, 65 Rumford around 65 degrees on over into uh, Cranston and Warwick about 65 Barrington, maybe a smidge cooler at 63, but a nice day everywhere along the south coast. As you might expect this time of year, it's going to be a little bit cooler mid to upper 50s, maybe 61 in westerly. You had inland though, 65 in Coventry, Narragansett. We're looking at temperatures kind of chilly first thing, but rising into the upper 50s uh, mid afternoon and then up into northern Rhode Island. We go We're looking at highs in the mid to upper 60s. Again, the uh, high temperature record for tomorrow, at least at the airport, 70 degrees. And we're going to come close to it inland, away from the south shore uh, during the afternoon hours tomorrow. Low 60s at the south coast along southeastern Mass and into the East Bay of Rhode Island. You head inland though, 67 degrees in Taunton. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Where is it? Okay, well, here it is. We're looking at uh, maybe a couple of showers on uh, Tuesday, mainly in the morning hours and then clearing out. But notice these temperatures all week staying in the 60s and it's still officially winter. It'll certainly feel like spring throughout much of the week. And by the way, spring arrives officially. I checked it out early Tuesday morning, not this Tuesday morning, but a week from Tuesday at like 120 in the morning, something it like that. It already feels like spring. It so. certainly does. And it's uh, it feels good. All right. Thanks, TJ. And still ahead on Eyewitness News at 11.